Hi YouTube Hood Ninja again. I'm gonna do this video. And I'm I'm gonna probably start doing a series of videos, uh, and I'm gonna name them Theology or Theory 101. Uh, and it's pretty much completely open uh, discussions and debates on ideas, theories, of course. Um, and this one is a this is one I'm going to do on the gravitational resonance theory. Uh, and also, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I had a comment from some from a guy the other day saying, Bro, you're reading cue cards, bro. We can tell you're reading cue cards, bro. Well, it's not that I'm reading cue cards, bro. I uh, What I do is uh, I bring up notes, my notepad on my desktop whenever I'm doing research and I type down notes literally it's pretty much a gist of the research that I do and uh, a lot of the times I'll go and do like a final draft I guess and that's what I use in a lot of my videos but anyway so with that being said I'm not reading cue cards I'm reading better worded notes I guess is what you would say I don't know anyway I got this one though. This is gravitational resonance theory 101. Okay. Now the theory of our dimensional understanding and perceptions as far as renewable resources or dimensionally speaking, limitless broadcasts of energy through electromagnetic radiation wave conversion, kind of similar to our converting solar rays into electricity with solar panels. That has all been greatly overlooked, I believe, or has it? Uh, Nikolai Tesla took underground credit for the mythical free energy machine he supposedly built in his lifetime. In my seemingless wonder, or I'm sorry, in my seemingly wonderless squanders of massive research on harp, Tesla, weather modification, scaling weaponry, mood altering, uh, frequency disruptions, and now. Uh, here's an even more ultimate, I would believe, theory. Um, can HARP either generate or convert uh, energies or uh, electromagnetic radiation into a third dimensional energy such as electricity that we can use? Um, so when it comes down to it, HARP is a particle accelerator. Uh, they are using the electromagnetic spectrum and other technologies similar to this, only artificially created and generated by man. Uh, also, a side note, uh, and this is just in my humble opinion, and some of you may know what I'm talking about, and some of you probably don't, but uh, when it is said that we cannot understand beyond our dimensional plane of perception, I believe it is not that our brains cannot translate it it's that we have not been introduced to it globally and uh... so we kinda we act sort of like an ant colony as one if america's pissed off pretty sure russia and germany and you know what if china it's gonna have an effect they're all gonna be pissed well if america one day throws peace signs and everybody starts you know kumbaya or whatever everybody would eventually end up doing that you see it's the it is the main agenda that influences uh, our present day life and how we live you see what I'm saying that's what I mean by the ant colony effect I don't mean like we can actually talk to each other like the ants do or allegedly do or anything like that I'm just saying we all act like one colony like one collective mind I guess as you would say subconsciously we do and that's also a theory in my humble opinion um, so like I said we have not been globally introduced to this uh, fourth dimensional plane and perception and thinking so it's we're still stuck on on third dimensional stuff so that's another theory uh, also here and this is something real 
if there was a psychological scan of every human being uh, on I don't know just a psychological just just for an accounted vote on substantial and true subject matter for example the president of the United States if there was a brain scan on everybody right now and this brain scan was able to say yes this dude wants to vote for so-and-so or he wants to vote for so-and-so when it comes down to that because as you as you would know felons don't have a say so in their votes uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of people who don't qualify to, to, to go to the voting poll and my personal opinion that's bullshit because I pay taxes and I know a lot of other people pay taxes that that can't go to these uh, voter polls but anyway I kind of got off subject with that but what I'm trying to say is that if everybody's vote was accounted for uh, especially on some on a on a uh, sub on a, on some true subject matter like for uh, like example of voting for the president then the whole world or our nation at the least because we'd be voting for president I guess the nation at least would collectively and naturally it's uh, it's hard to explain we would end up overthrowing our government and crumbling the infrastructure of the global community naturally if we were introduced to all these new and different ideas uh, especially a, a, another brief example Nikolai Tesla and his invention uh, hidden back 50 60 years ago if it would have been released then where would we be now that's kind of what I'm saying so uh, pretty much in theory what I'm trying to say is is there is a such thing as a uh, free energy machine heat this is just another example for example heat or light not necessarily solar rays or solar radiation just a simple heat or a light ray uh, is the actual broadcast of information data frequency and or electricity so I mean in theory like I said you could put together uh, an antenna with a generator and a battery at the bottom of it and it will just pretty much collect <laughs> all this energy and you know whatever charge up your batteries and your cell phones or whatever anyway so I'm in my humble opinion I believe that it is a very possible uh, that we can that we have the technology to do it we can do it uh, I know why we haven't done it so far, but uh, I just want to know what everybody else's thoughts are on it. Think about it. You could create a generator that, once assembled properly, will self-sustain itself in electricity and give elect you know put out electricity. For, you know I'm, I'm sure it'll eventually run out but it's better than you know what 20 miles 30 miles for feet even 80 miles to the gallon um, anyway so comments are greatly appreciated uh, mostly I would like to hear a little feedback from some of these other guys I've been talking to dr. Keith strong uh, with the Sun today um, about uh, orbital resonance and me and him are having a pretty good conversation and um, I'll let you in on that because he's of course more uh, informed and educated than I am on this so what I find out from him I'll translate it uh, through a video to the rest of the viewers and subscribers and the people who actually care mm. so with that being said, I'm going to get off here.
Have a good day, YouTube. God bless and peace.